What's up, guys? Athena Soldiers is here with Crazy Gamer Chick. What's up? Sorry, Athena Soldiers. There we go. I kind of slowed a little bit. It's okay. It's all good. Shh. No, 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 no. For a effing second. Alright. So, sticking <laughs> with our awesome topics of magical beings and such and the special ones in our lives that we love so much on the holidays and whatnot, well, let's get this started. Now, here's one you guys may not have known about or you didn't care, give enough shits about to pay attention to the Sandman. Let me explain the Sandman. Please explain the Sandman. As history says. The Sandman comes around and he sprinkles sand or dust into children's eyes. For what purpose? To bring on sleep and good dreams. Which is why when you wake up in the morning and you have sleep or <laughs> all over your or face sand in your eyes, <laughs> that's because the Sandman was doing his trick. Of night. course, yes. Well, so let's talk about this for a damn second, okay? All right. Sand. Yes. Particles of glass. Okay. You're sprinkling that into children's eyes. But do you understand the reason why? Because I, you, if you weren't, you if you weren't so <laughs> narrow-minded and biased, you would understand his true reasoning. Let me explain. Want, because obviously you don't give two shits. So listen to this. The pain. Listen, listen the pain to this. That would cause. Okay, kids get scared in the dark. Correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Yes. Say yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kids get scared in the dark. Yes. Okay. Some. Most kids get scared <laughs> of the dark at some point if they watch a scary movie beforehand, correct? Okay, sure. Okay, yes, thank you. Well, yes, would have worked too, but okay, yes. So, once they're terrified and all afraid, their parents are sleeping. They do not want to be bothered. They have to work the next day. You know, kids shut the hell up. Oh, exactly, okay. you know what I mean? They yeah. do not bother yeah. the parents. Yeah. For God's sakes. <laughs> you know, turn on a damn light or something, but not that long because the electric bill's going to go up. So, <laughs> the Sandman's there for really more of the parents' aid. Okay. You see, because now the kid's freaking out, so Santa like comes over. Sand Let me explain. Into their so eyes. no, 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 no. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, right? So the Santa is gonna show up, and he's gonna he's gonna go there, okay? okay. And, and when you see him, you're gonna be like, oh my god, it's scary! And then he's gonna go, and he's gonna throw it at your face. And once it burns, it rips your eyes to pieces. Your eyes are shut the rest of the night, and you're so focused on the pain and the worry that you're gonna be blind for the rest of your life. You are no longer afraid of what's in your room, those nightmares you might have, and you will sleep like a baby. Woo! That's the Sandman. You're welcome. That is absolutely awful. No, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty logical yeah. reasoning there. Okay, I I I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, These obviously. These are supposed to be, you know, the people that bring us happiness and joy. Right? No one He's, ever said hey, Sandman hey, would bring us. Hey, hey, hey. He said good dreams. He's okay, and good dreams, good dreams. come from a good night's sleep. Okay, listen. <laughs> Good dreams do not come from some random creepy dude going into your room and throwing sand in your face. That does not cause good dreams. Okay, all right. So, okay, so, so tell, tell me this. Okay, so you wake up when you're a kid in the middle of the night, right? And then you forgot that you hung your your you know jacket on a, a chair or a door. And then you wake up and it looks like a guy standing and you're like, oh my god, ah! And then all of a sudden, boom, you're hitting the face with sand. And you're like, oh, my eyes hurt. Oh no, what happened? And then you totally forget that you just saw that guy. And then you're like, oh man, I'm getting really sleepy. My eyes really hurt. Oh no. So and then you, magical and then you, sand. Yeah, and then you slowly start to pass out as your eyes are being ripped to shreds. And that's why in the morning, uh, you know, your eyes are the fastest things to heal. So they can be torn <laughs> to pieces that night and fix that next morning. And you know, I'll, I'll tell you one time. One time I was sleeping in a hotel and I was with my grandparents. I was really little. And I had got, I mean, he must have really just dropped the bag on my face because I couldn't open my eyes. I had so I many. I hate that. Yeah. That so he part. must have actually put a little too much on there because I slept yeah. like a baby. Amazing dreams. But yeah. when I woke up and I was like, oh, I can't see. <laughs> you know, I think sometimes he just likes to have his own laughs, you know, and that's good. He needs to stay fresh because oh. all he ever sees is kids screaming and freaking so, out so and being like, don't throw sand in my eyes. Man, you know, that's you. <laughs> just take it. Okay. Let's just let's just think about this. Okay, all right. Let's, so okay. you're saying? Yes, I said. It's not just sand. No. It's magical sand. It's magical sand. He's a magical guy. It's magical sand. So it's magical sand. I don't think he goes to the beach. He's like, huh. Ah! That, <laughs> that makes you forget. No. That you saw him. Yes. And the pain. No. So you have good. So you remember the pain. Yes, the pain's a good thing. So no. Yes. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> the pain's a good no, thing. What no. you're failing to understand here is that pain is the number one relaxant of the brain. Because it will totally allow your brain to focus on one single objective, which is getting over that pain. Thus the relaxing of all your other fears and worries in life. Because so, you're so focused in the moment. You're in the moment with pain. You know, that's the thing. So that's why he's there. He's to, he's to make you live in the moment. 
He's a live in the moment kind of. He's, he's like a do it now kind of guy. To give you good dreams. No, no, no. Good, you know that's a that's dreams. a side product of what comes from the magical sand that he brews up in his basement of his mom's house. Okay. Yeah. You feel so, better now? So Sandman <laughs> lives in his mom's basement. Yeah. And stirs up some sort of sand chemicals. Yes. Chemical. Yeah. <laughs> and it sprinkles it on kids' faces yes. so they have good dreams. Yeah, exactly, yes. Are we sure we're talking about sand? Uh, I'm, well, that's what I've been told. <laughs> so I'm going to stick with that. And let's also make sure that everyone knows that Sam is the one guy who cannot go through walls. So he literally has to break into your house. <laughs> so <laughs> there is that. So if you ever see a guy break into your house with a bag full of sand and he throws it at you, fear not. You will have amazing dreams that night. <laughs> so I think that I, I think you I... You may have a gun, but don't worry. He's it, just there to give it's gonna shoot sand at you. Relax, kids. You may kids. wake up and all your crap will be gone, but hey. Hey. You had a good night's sleep. You had an amazing night's sleep, <laughs> and you totally forgot he was there, right? You're like, where'd all my shit go? The okay. Sandman. All right, I have one more person I want to talk about. All right, about. and this one's coming up. I'm excited for this. I want to talk about Valentine's Day's Cupid. Cupid. A yes. baby in a diaper with a sharp bow and arrow. Whoever gave him that toy seriously needs a good <laughs> no, hand slap. <laughs> because that is a deadly weapon. No, he is his, going out on fire. Who gives a deadly weapon to a diapered baby? Yeah. Like, <laughs> who floats? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. You yeah. give him a tactical advantage of being small I and floating. Know, right? <laughs> okay, so... I, I do need to say this real quick. All right, say I this. I was about to go to a high school, right? And I ended up moving. Wow, you didn't go to high school? No, I did. <laughs> there was one type of one high school I was supposed to go to, but I ended up going to a different one. Okay. Their mascot was the Cupies. Oh, the Cupies. And they had little naked babies on their uniforms. Oh. Like, turned around so their butt was showing. <laughs> and you could, like, see their crack. And they, like, oh, looked God. around and they had, like, one finger in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. And then, like, the colors were purple and yellow. Oh, like, nice. clearly a chick owned this high school because that was just, like... Okay, anyway, that's besides the point. Yeah, okay, so, besides the point. Let's think about this. Okay, so you have... A baby. A baby. With a deadly weapon. All right, so you fall in love with somebody, right? Right. So you know what the best thing to happen is? Get shot in the face with an arrow. Shot in the face with an arrow. Because, you know, that really brings you closer Well, if you think about it, if you're having that awkward moment and then you notice that you're like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to, you know, am I going to ask this chick out the next thing you know? You're like, oh, my face. <laughs> oh, you know, then you're like, oh, man. Wow, you know what? Would you like to go out with me? Yeah, because, you know, that works great. Yeah, and, and, you know, I wonder. I do wonder where that magical bow came from. Because he's probably, if he was a maniacal little kid, he'd probably go to, like, some really hot chick or something and be like, huh. And go to like the the eight hundred pound guy. And be like, there you go. Now you're together. Forever. Now you're together forever. <laughs> <laughs> I start with these bows in my in my mom's attic. <laughs> so I have another question for you. All right. Ooh, but we might be running out of time. Oh, we will be out of here for now, guys. We will be back. We love you all so much. We appreciate all you do. Peace. Love you guys. Peace.